Hello and welcome again. My name is Erik Eichle and this is part 3 of the tutorial on Beethoven's Waldstein Sonata. We now continue with the second subject group of the exposition. As mentioned before, the second subject group is usually contrasting, and in fact it is a calm chorale. But one thing is strange. It should be in G major. However, Beethoven wrote this group in the key of E major. Here you see the so-called circle of fifths. In the upper middle you find C major and the nearby G major. You can see that E major is quite far away. So this is the reason for these 12 bars of B major I talked about in the previous part. Beethoven needed a long, a very long preparation for the new and unusual key. Pretty clever, isn't it? Let me point out another interesting detail detected by Jürgen Ude. If you compare the surface rhythm with the harmonica rhythm, you will notice that the main theme harmonically moves quite slow, but the rhythm you hear, the surface rhythm, is very fast because of the repeated notes. If I only play the harmonic rhythm, it's very slow. In the second subject group it's just the opposite. With every new note we get a new harmony. And the harmonics actually move much faster than those of the beginning. Yet another contrast, the beginning is very low. The second subject group is high. From now on, the left hand stays with the choral theme, whereas the right hand already moves forward in triplets. So already here you can sense that this calm and soft episode wouldn't last long. I have to admit that I'm not quite sure whether to call this entire section a codetta. You could consider the beginning as a transition and the codetta would be only the end of what you just heard. Well, anyway, you remember that already at the end of the second subject group the right hand speeded up. This tendency now continues. Observe how we are constantly speeding up. First, only one hand has triplets. Thank you. 
Now both hands has triplets. <laughs> Then we change to semiquavers. We clearly ended in E major, but for the repetition of the exposition, we have to get back to C major somehow, which is not that easy. This is how Beethoven solved the problem. He takes the tour via A minor, which is very similar to C major. This is the end of part 3. In the next video I will continue with the development section. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you again in the next part.